Welcome guys, I'm going to show you how to get started with the cash and delivery button inside of Shopify. So first of all, what you wanted to do is to sign into your Shopify store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual store of uh, Shopify and you want to have an actual huge deal. So first of all, what you wanted to do is to go directly into the home dashboard of Shopify. So once we are in here, what you wanted to do first of all is to make sure that you do have one product uh, already been enabled and ready to add the cash and delivery button. So first of all, what I wanted to do now is to after I send it in, I'm gonna go into my products and I'm gonna add a new product. Inside here, this product I'm gonna go for example number one. So you can see how it actually looks my product. I'm gonna add a quick medium. In this case, it's gonna be this one. And here I'm gonna go for the price and the compared price, the counts on the inventory, and that will be actually it. I'm gonna hit now into save. And let's take a look into how it actually looks the page of our product. As you can see, we have the add to the cart and the buy it now. So we wanted to add the cash on delivery button, right? So what I wanted to do is to install a COD application. This is installing a cash on delivery application for the Shopify app store. There are several options available, such as the cash on delivery, the payment king, uh, the cash on delivery with fee, the Shopify applications. To find out what I'm talking about, go here into apps and go for COD and go directly into the Shopify app store. Now the Shopify app store has a lot of applications where you can get started in adding all the stuff uh, here inside your, your website. Once again, I'm gonna go for cash. There we go. And here I can look out for more ideas. Rally stud, cash on delivery. You want to make sure that these plants are available and are totally for free. So as uh, you can see that here it appears the actual button. So what you want to do is to go here and to install and then later on, it's gonna be asking us to install the actual application directly into our store. So I'm gonna go and grant the access. Let's go here into install. And now we should be inside the actual application. There's another method, but first of all, I'm gonna show you how we can set up here this actual application. So as you can see here, how the released cast and delivery. You wanted to choose the language and go for continue. Later on, it's gonna be asking us to add the released cast and delivery so we can configure our fee of how much we wanted to accept and how much you wanted to charge for this payment method. So here I'm going to go back into settings. I'm going to go into payments and here into payments, I'm going to scroll all the way down and look out for manual payment method. And here let's go for cash on delivery. So I'm going to hit now into activate the cash on delivery. You want to be changing, uh, changing the additional details of the payment instructions later. So go to here and take active to the cash on delivery COD already been enabled, right? So I'm gonna just close this and go back into my cash on delivery to read it. Let's refresh the payment method. And you should see now that here is my cash on delivery. So make sure that I have now saved this. Configure your additional fees. I'm gonna go, go for three. You can contact them later on. You can add your fees here. You can add a custom message, of course. And lastly, you can enable your additional fee later on. I'm gonna hit now into save. And you should see now that our cash on delivery has now been correctly activated. So um, as you can see here, it actually works. I'm gonna go back here into my store. You can hit into build your online store and test the checkout process. So here I have the payment, I scroll all the way down and have the cash on delivery. So billing address, same as the same as the shipping address or use a different address. We'll go here, same as the shipping address. Go for the standard and that will be actually it. Last thing I'm gonna go here to complete my order so we can make the customization of the confirmation message. And now my order has been processed. So now what I just needed to do is to go back into my store and see how it actually looks this test style that we've just done here. So let's go back here into our store. Let's go here into orders. And you should see here that my order has now been set up. Payment pending, fulfillment status unfulfilled, of course. So I can click here and you can see that this guy actually chose the subtotal, the shipping, the taxes and all of that paid it, the balance. And then when you go directly and send the product and receive the money, you can go back here on Shopify and mark this as paid. And your product should be looking now like this. Uh, fulfilled item and all of this has now been set it up correctly. 
So, as you can see guys, this is how we can get started by making the actual process of the COD. You can monitor and optimize all the stuff directly here, directly into the order data, the conversion rates, the customer satisfaction, identify the areas to optimization, so you can truly refine the COD process to enhance the overall customer experience. This is like the most easiest way to get paid, of course, and to make transactions here directly into your actual store. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached into the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, and you want to see more great goes of the actual Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, hopefully we can all see you into a brand new video. See you next time.